So consider the polar equation r is equal to 2 plus 3 cosine theta. And we're going to find the slope and the equation of the tangent line when theta is equal to pi over 2. So feel free to try this problem. In order to find the equation of the tangent line, we need to use this formula. Or we could use y equals mx plus b. But I like the point slope formula. So we need to find the slope, which we can do so by finding dy dx and evaluating it at theta equals pi over 2. And we need to find the x and y coordinates for this particular point when theta is pi over 2. So let's begin by finding x and y. Now x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta. So first, what is r? So r is equal to this thing. Let's calculate r. So it's going to be 2 plus 3 cosine theta, and theta is pi over 2. Cosine pi over 2, that's equal to 0. So in this problem, r is equal to 2 when theta is pi over 2. So x is going to be 2 cosine theta, or 2 cosine pi over 2. And we know cosine pi over 2 is 0, so x is 0. y is going to be r, which is 2 times sine pi over 2. Sine pi over 2 is 1, so y equals 2. So therefore, we have the point 0, comma 2. and r is 2. Now the next thing that we need to do is find the slope of the tangent line. So we need to find the derivative dy over dx. Now the first thing I'm going to do is find dx d theta using this equation. If x is r cosine theta, and keep in mind r is a function of theta, what is dx e theta? Since r and theta are both variables, we need to use the product rule. So the derivative of r with respect to theta is dr d theta, and then times the second part, which we're going to leave the same, cosine theta, plus, now you leave the first part the same and differentiate the second part. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And if you recall, Using the product rule, the derivative of u times v, it's u prime v plus uv prime. So that's the rule that we need to use in this example. And now let's find dy d theta. So let's differentiate r sine theta. The derivative of r is going to be dr d theta, again, times sine, plus r times the derivative of sine, which is cosine. Now, dy dx is dy d theta divided by dx d theta. So it's equal to this expression divided by what we see here. So it's red divided by blue. So we can write it this way, dy over dx is dy d theta, which we said was dr d theta sine theta plus r cosine theta. And dx d theta, that was dr d theta times cosine minus r sine theta. The only thing we're missing now is dr d theta. So recall that r is 2 plus 3 cosine theta. So dr d theta is the derivative of r with respect to theta. The derivative of 2 is 0, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this becomes negative 3 sine theta. And at pi over 2, keep in mind theta is pi over 2, that's going to be negative 3 sine pi over 2. 
and sine pi over 2 is 1, so negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So therefore, dr d theta is equal to negative 3 in this example. So let's plug everything in to this formula. And let's calculate dy over dx. So dr d theta, that's negative 3, times sine of pi over 2. Sine pi over 2 is 1. And then plus r, r is 2. And cosine pi over 2 is 0. Divided by dr d theta, which is negative 3. Cosine pi over 2. And then minus r, which is 2 times sine pi over 2, which is 1. So this becomes negative 3 divided by negative 2, which is positive 3 over 2. So dy dx, when evaluated, is equal to the slope. So we have a slope of 3 over 2. Now we can write the equation of the tangent line. using our point and the slope. So this is going to be x1 and this is y1. So y minus y1, which is 2, and then m is 3 over 2, and x1 is 0. So we have y minus 2 is equal to 3 over 2 times x. Adding 2 to both sides, this gives me the equation of the tangent line in slope intercept form. So it's 3 over 2x plus 2. And that is the answer. Now let's go ahead and graph our polar equation. So it's r is equal to 2 plus 3 cosine theta. Now 2 plus 3 is 5, so it's going to touch the x-axis at 5. And 3 minus 2 is 1, so it's also going to touch the x-axis at 1. It's going to touch the y-axis at 2 and negative 2. And so we're going to have a shape. It also touches the origin, by the way. Let's see if I can draw this correctly. So it's going to look something like this. There we go. Now at this point, that's when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2. It also corresponds to the point r comma theta, where r is 2 and theta is pi over 2. As you can see, in the north line, the angle in this region is pi over 2, and the radius is 2. It's 2 units away from the center. And so that's where our tangent line is located. And you can see that it has a slope of 3 over 2. It has a positive slope, the fact that it's increasing. Now let's work on another example problem. So let's say if r is equal to 2, I mean 3 minus 2 sine theta. And we're going to say that theta is pi. Go ahead and write the equation of the tangent line when theta equals pi. So what I'm going to do is calculate x, y, r, dr d theta, the slope, and I already know that theta is pi. Basically I need all these things. So let's start with r because we already have the equation. So that's 3 minus 2 sine of pi. 
and sine pi is 0. So we have 3 minus 2 times 0, which is 3. So r is equal to 3. So that's one thing off my to-do list. Now let's calculate dr d theta. The derivative of 3 is 0, and the derivative of sine is cosine, so this is going to be negative 2 cosine theta. And let's evaluate dr d theta when theta is pi. Now cosine pi is equal to what? Cosine pi is negative 1. So dr d theta is 2. So now let's move on to x and y. So x is always r cosine theta when dealing with polar coordinates, and y is r sine theta. So we know that r is equal to 3, and that's when theta is pi. So we have 3 cosine pi, so that's 3 times negative 1, so x is negative 3. Now y is going to be 3 sine pi, but sine pi is 0, so y is equal to 0. Now, let's determine dx e theta, which is going to be the same thing. The derivative of r is going to be dr d theta times cosine plus r times the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine. This equation will change. And dy d theta, as we said before, is going to be dr d theta times sine plus r times the derivative of sine, which is cosine. Now let's calculate dy over dx. So it's dy d theta, which is dr d theta sine theta plus r cosine theta divided by dx d theta, which is dr d theta cosine theta minus r sine theta. So if you want to, you can just commit this formula to memory. But if you understand how to get it from these two equations, you can always just derive it because this might be easy to forget. There's a lot of stuff to remember. Your call. Whichever method is easier for you. So now let's go ahead and determine dy over dx. So dr d theta, we already know that it's equal to 2. And sine of pi, sine pi is 0, r is 3 cosine pi is negative 1, dr d theta, that's 2 times cosine pi, and then minus r, so r is still 3, and sine pi is 0. So once again, it's negative 3 over negative 2, and so we have the same slope of 3 over 2. So now that we have everything, we can now calculate or determine the equation of the tangent line. So I'm going to start with the point slope formula. So it's going to be y minus 0, which is equal to m times x minus x1. And x1 is negative 3. So this becomes x plus 3, which you could leave your answer like that in point slope form if you want to. Or you could distribute the 3 over 2 to x plus 3. And so you're going to get 3 over 2x, and 3 times 3 is 9, so plus 9 over 2. And so that's the answer of the equation of the tangent line in slope-intercept form. And that's all you need to do for this particular video. Thanks for watching.